いでよバスターブレイナー Hello, and I hope you enjoyed those little, little replays. So uh, yeah, Busta Blader, we're back to the good old never done wrong deck, except for the times I did it wrong. Yeah. So with the October 2021 ban list, I decided to go for a bit of a different approach than I usually do. So let's go through everything card by card. We're playing Triple Buster Blader, Triple Welp, Double Dragon Buster, 
triple prologue and double memory. This is very standard. Uh, I play double Dragon Buster, which is not the norm uh, from what I was able to see in the Buster Blade of Builds. So most people play one, if any, at all. I play two uh, because I also play Jack in the Hand. And Dragon Buster is a monster I can search out with Jack of the in the hand, or at least show it to my opponent. With this, I can make them pay the Dragon Buster, making them think that they only play one. While I'll take something like, I don't know, Side Reflector or Whelp, and still have one more Dragon Buster in my deck, so I can still provide the buster lock. And that is the basic premise of why I play two of them. Next we get to the engine, the newest engine of this deck, the Assault Mode package. A triple Sire Reflector, one Assault Mode Activate, one Beast and double Emergency Teleport. So. With teleport going back to 2, the Assault Mode engine is much more consistent, at least in this form. With um, Tanky going to 1, the engine is at, le is at least a bit consistent when it comes to the other, more synchro-focused version, but I prefer this one, mostly due to the fact that with Side Reflector, I can go to any Synchro I want, but I can also go into Link Monsters. So we're playing Triple Side Reflector, one Beast and one Assault Mode Activate, because Side Reflector can search out Beast, Beast can search out Assault Mode Activate, giving us a plus one, and a Synchro Monster, and a Search, and it gets two cards out of the deck. And with Emergency Teleport, it doesn't eat our normal summon. So we can go into basically every card in our extra deck with this. I am very happy that this is here. Next, we have our good old Rocket Package. Triple Launch, Double Synchron. I decided to play the Double Synchron because... During testing, when I was testing it with one Rocket Synchron, I tend to just get it in my hand, and now I had all those quick launches that were dead. So I decided to just uh, get one extra rocket synchron. Also, quick launch isn't a once per turn card. So I can activate, so if I am able to draw multiple launches, I can activate them and get two rocket synchrons on the field giving me a bit more versatility and a bit more ability to link summon. I decided to play two Jester Comfort because we already have enough level 1s. Jester Comfort is a very it's a very good extender which we can search with Jack in the Hand or War of Dao. So that's it when it comes to all the engines. Next up, Hand Traps, Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Imperm and Triple Trap Trek. Trap Trick is here because we can search out Imperm or we can search out Prolog with it. That's self explanatory. Now the extra deck, where the real part begins. Real party. We have double Buster Blade of the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, triple Buster Dragon, which is self explanatory. One Burrow Load Savage Dragon, which we can go into using Side Reflector and Pals. One red, hot red dragon archer in the abyss, which is also self-explanatory. One chaos rula, the chaotic magical dragon. This one is a bit uh, of a stretch, if you will. So, when it comes to chaos rula, he, you excavate the top five cards and either add a light or a dark uh, from those excavated five to your hand. So, chaos rula. It's another way you can get to Whelp, or to Side Reflector, or to Jester Confit. It's just another way to get to those uh, cards, and if we're able to get to Emergency Teleport, we can use Side Reflector, go into the Assault Mode package, make Chaos Ruler, 
and from that we can get to Buster World. So I think this is uh, very neat, it also sends cards to the graveyard, so it can actually set up the memory display, which I'm very, very fond of, and I'm very glad it's here. We're also playing Satellite Warrior and Formula Synchron. Those two are here because we play Crystal and Falky Fibrex and I decided to just go roll with it and uh, just add this little thing here. It did come up during testing, did it come up during the live duels, but uh, it is a play we can do. It's very funny because we will have, once Satellite Warrior hits the field, we will have at least two Synchro Monsters on the field, maybe even in the graveyard, maybe even more. So that will make Satellite Warrior a pop 2 at the very least and give it a nice 2000 attack point boost, making him one of the strongest monsters we can actually summon. Next is our link package. Link Rainbow is self-explanatory just so we can uh, link off Whelp and get the Buster Lock going, Buster Blade Lock. One Protector Whelp, this is also a standard card, Crystal Falky Feinberg is what I mentioned uh, for the uh, Formula Synchron play, and we're also playing Double Saryuja. As you saw in the replays, I was able to go into, multi into those two Saryujas uh, rather easily, if I do say so myself. Uh, Saryuja is here for a few reasons. First is, of course, the obvious one, the draw 4. Why wouldn't I want to draw four? Uh, and also it can summon a monster from our hand for free. And Buster Blader is a monster we want to have on the field and not in our hand. The draw four effect also allows us to get our Garnets back into the deck. So if we're able to go into the side effect package, we're getting everything, we have Assault Mode activate, we do the Synchro plays, etc, etc. We then can go into Saryuja and set, draw 4 and then set the Assault Mode activate back into the deck. Because it is a card we get as a plus 1 from Side Effector, and that is to, uh, gives us two things. One, and it gives us an additional card you can return to the deck and get from Saryuja. Because, let's face it, Salt Mode Activate does nothing. And also, if we're able to get another side effect on next turn, we can just search it back again, giving us an additional plus one. Uh, so yeah, I think this deck has its flaws, of course, uh, has its uh, pros. It's very flexible in what it does, and it does what I like most, and that is Synchros. A lot and a lot of Synchros. Uh, so yeah, that would be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Jokolo Sanyo, peace!